what are the psycholo psychological elements of broadcasting your location? I mean, what are you trying to say about that? Wow, such a kind it's of... It's a loaded question. It's a I very realize. loaded question. Yeah. I'm not sure I want to talk about it psychologically, but I do think, you know, one of the ways that we talk about uh, who we are is by where we are and who we're with, right? So I mean, right. I think there's sort of ways that as human beings we're deeply concerned about our identity and about the ways we manage that, mm -hmm. and it manifests itself in everything from how we dress to what technologies we carry to where we choose to live, to the kind of online services we subscribe to, to the names we choose in all of those kinds of places, right? And I suspect there's all kinds of ways about how we choose to share our location or not share our location or indeed lie about our location that right. are deeply tied up with wanting to appear cool or popular or a little bit avant-garde and cheeky. And I mm -hmm. think there's all kinds of ways that we play with location, the same way we play with clothes and the wallpaper on our various kinds of te technical devices. I mean, there's always a kind of a playfulness that's going on there. Right. Now, do you think that mobile is more closely tied to identity than a desktop or a laptop, that sort of thing? Oh, such a good question. I think there's something about mobile devices, particularly ones that you carry, mm -hmm. that lends a sort of intimacy to them. I mean, they tend to be on our bodies, right? I mean, they're in our right. pockets, they're in our hands, we sleep with them incredibly close to us. I mean, yeah. you know, whether they're next to our beds because there are alarm clocks, they're in our bags with all the other sorts of bits of detritus in our lives. I think there's something about those devices that lend themselves to a kind of an intimacy and also because of the things you do with them. I mean, mm -hmm. you talk to your friends, you take photos of people you care about, you share information. They become these kind of repositories of our lives. So it doesn't really surprise me they've become very personal objects. Mm -hmm. So if they are a more personal object, does that raise the stakes for design and interface? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I think it means that, you know, certainly if you look at the early history of phones back before they were smart, yeah. <laughs> so that first generation of phones, right. part of the reason they took off was you didn't need to be a computer person to use it, mm. right? You didn't need to understand about data packages and about how voice was transferred down a phone line, rematerialized somewhere else. Sure. You didn't really even need to know how to make a call at some level. You just knew how to hit the green button or the red yeah. button. And there was something, I think, really seductive about the simplicity of that. And also about the fact that a lot of those early phones, and indeed the current generation, feel good in your hands, right? They have a, a tactility to them. They have a kind of weight. There's a shapeliness. There's sort of a pleasure of holding the objects mm -hmm. that I think becomes really important, as does having a a user interface that makes sense for the context. So whether it's, you know, the efficiency of a BlackBerry, you know, email work interface or mm -hmm. the kind of pleasure of moving apps around on a touch screen. I think is, you know, something about an interface that makes sense for the tasks at hand is also really important and hand is kind of critical there, right? Sure. It's gonna be, you know, often just the one. Right, right, yeah. Uh, last question I have for you. What, what's your take on the intersection of location and privacy? Do you have misgivings about that? <sighs> wow, another loaded question. I think one of the things I'm really struck by is we've been tracking the ways in which the internet has touched down in people's lives across many devices and mm -hmm. over really a kind of a 10 or 15 year window is how much notions about what privacy is are really up for grabs. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, is privacy your demographic data? Is it your profile sure. material? Is it something about your kids or your partner? Is it about where you are or who you're with? And my sense is that one of the things that's just becoming clearer and clearer is that privacy is infinitely more complicated than we thought it was. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's a straightforward here is privacy and everyone agrees to that definition because sure, right. it's really clear you know people have different ideas about privacy through the course of their lifetime mm -hmm. what you might consider the information that you're willing to share when you're 20 may be very different than when you're 50 sure uh, may be very different when you're at university than in your first job mm -hmm. and certainly my sense from some of the material we've been seeing is that people are as concerned about things like their reputation and their image as mm -hmm. they are about more traditional forms of, of privacy and then I get the sense there's sort of these other things starting to layer around the edges of it right so we also then worry about things like authenticity. Mm -hmm. Is something a real thing that we're looking at? Is it a real experience? How do you start to play through those kind of notions about what something is real? How are people manipulating their image online? What does it mean to have a genuine encounter? Mm -hmm. So I think you know, privacy is no longer a stable, if it ever was really, it's no longer a stable category. There's all these other kind of conversations that I think we start having to have around it, where location is just really one piece of that mm -hmm. much larger puzzle, right? Because I think it's, it's also about things like your image, who you're with, what other devices you might own, what other services, what you don't own, mm -hmm. <laughs> what you choose not to put on the public record. And for me, you know, privacy just doesn't cover all of that. Right. Interesting. Well, thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate it. You're very welcome.